What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Will Beck here, and if we're meeting for the first time, this is AMRAP, and we are ready for pull day two for week one, push-pull legs. This exercise routine is going to completely obliterate your back, right? All those pulling muscles, your back and biceps, like who doesn't love to have a thicker, wider back, right? To get that awesome V taper. We did all that work on our chest and triceps yesterday and our shoulders to really round everything out but arguably if you have back conditions like this is going to be one of those days that you're not going to want to miss like you're not going to want to skip any of these days i mean the bees aren't skipping this day Ugh. anyone else get the pre-workout freaking burps dude those things are gnarly anyways if we're meeting for the first time my name is will beck i am a fitness chef i'm not a doctor i'm not your doctor i'm not anyone's doctor i'm never going to claim to be a doctor this exercise is about to be the heavy resistance band pull-ups because remember this is still week one that means every single exercise what we're doing is going to run for 30 seconds and then you rest for 30 seconds and move on to the next exercise immediately right we call circuit training so we're mixing up circuit training with push pull legs smash like right now if you're still feeling that push exercise from yesterday tomorrow we're doing our second day of legs and then a rest day but anyway without further ado let's get into this awesome freaking workout that i'm amped for i got the pre-workout running through my veins right now let's not waste it the reason why i'm using resistance band right away is because chances are you're just starting out right and so if that's the case pull-ups are going to be your weak point but arguably one of the most important exercises you can do and so by using the heavy resistance band with these pull-ups we're emphasizing muscle memory right get our muscles used to making that movement come on with me let's check it out but for the heavy resistance band pull-ups it's basically done like this okay now you can wrap it and hold on to the resistance band up here that's fine that's up to you not necessary what i like to do I'm tall, so I can kind of get away with it, right? I just bring this down here, put my foot on it. And I can put both feet on it. Try not to smack yourself in the nugget. Ow. But this is what we're gonna be doing. 30 seconds, let's go. Now I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing there. I'm deliberately pausing and I'm doing slow controlled deliberate movements so you're using assistance right here with a rubber band that means you can be the strictest form possible you're going to want to arch your back and then just bring it up now you may have a situation where you want to get those four straps in right so this is what we do this is all about your ability not my ability that's gonna be way better. Now you can use one foot, two feet, doesn't matter. And if this is still too hard, now you have two resistance bands. You see what I'm saying? Progressive overload is definitely your friend. All right, now, I hope y'all saw, did I get hang up? <laughs> I hope y'all saw that, right? The, the important part there, is to be able to really crank out these reps. Really want to get that blood flowing into your back and then just freaking annihilate it afterwards, right? The next exercise we're gonna be doing is called the jumping eccentric pull-up. So basically we're taking the pull out, right? We're jumping up there, grabbing it, and slowly releasing. Follow with me, 30 seconds, let's go. So jump, slowly let go, right? If you're lucky enough to have one of these bars, don't be afraid to switch up your angles. It's really gonna help with these lats. And like I said, this is all about muscle memory right now. Fun fact, whenever you're working out your back, whenever you go wide, you work in the inside of your back. And whenever you go narrow in your pulling motion, you're getting that wider part. Let's go, 30 seconds. Like I was saying, that last exercise is really going to help on those negatives, but this is going to be for those seated rows. Remember what I was saying, whenever you got your hands close together, you're going wide. Whenever they're out tall, doing the pull up, right? That's where you get that nice V taper and all those cuts in the middle, right? That everyone wants. And now we're, and now we're ready to go. I'm gonna wrap it around my hand, right? And kind of brace it straight back, shoulders back. Time for the row.
30 seconds. Now, if this is too easy for you, ah, if it's too easy, a progression to this, as long as you're keeping strict form, single arm rows. So that is actually gonna help you target your core just like so, right? But let's keep things simple right now. We're gonna use both hands. 30 seconds. All right, I think we can agree that it's not gonna be a pull day unless we do some face pulls, right? So for this one, I'm gonna use a super heavy band again, the same one that we were just using on the seated rows, right? And I'm just gonna find a corner of a pole here. Face pulls, right? Face pulls are really good for targeting these rear delts. It's another pulling movement, right? Rear delts and that back and the traps, right? It's really going to help give you that upper shelf on your back, right? Fun fact, that's where a lot of the stress of the world lays on people. So whenever you get your migraines and everything else, and your headaches all the time, just constant tension and everything else, your tension will lie on your shoulders. That's why, that's where that saying comes from. You know, you got the weight of the world on your shoulders and stressed out. The best way to attack stress is meet it with stress, in my opinion. You're gonna hold it like this. And the idea, you wanna pull it to your face, like so. Now, what I like to do is I like to keep my thumbs up and kind of try to point them outwards. And what that's going to do, because you can see whenever I pull it this way, that's one thing. But whenever we start doing this and out is where we start really emphasizing on that rotator cuff. And if you've been feeling like impingement, your shoulders lock up, you just get shoulder pain and everything else while you're doing other your pushing movements, likely it's caused by this. So let's get some face pulls in, 30 seconds. And then it's on to the next exercise. Remember, 30 seconds of rest, 30 seconds exercise. Next week, we're going on to like 35 seconds. So face pull, let's get it. Now you might be wondering, Will, why are you rocking like that? Well, because if you try to do face pull, standing all rigid and flat footed, you're spending more time on your calves trying to fight the urge of the band pulling you forward, right? So if you kind of lean back on your heels a little bit, and you can't see it, if you kind of lean back on your heels, right? Let your body weight start to bring that back. You just get that really good stretch. See what I'm saying? Just keep it going. Now, on to the next exercise, resistance band pullovers. This is why I love this workout, because you can just jump right into it, exercise after exercise. Bring it kind of behind your head, like this. Keep your back and shoulders straight, and pull it over. Now, you can alternate like this. One, two, one, too. And obviously, this is really going to work on these lats, right? Get you more of that V taper. What everyone wants anyway. Now, if this is too light, like I said, move up on the weight. But I suggest keeping it this way. Work on that muscle memory. Get these muscles activated. Keep that blood flowing in there. Because remember, you got two more rounds, and that last round is AMRAP. As many reps as possible. Let's get it. I'm gonna get that full stretch and contraction. Uh, now I like to go over one shoulder and then the other shoulder to kind of target each side individually, if that makes sense. It's what works best for me. 30 seconds. Now you can switch up the grip, go like a hammer fist here, 
here, here, here. You speed it up and you start getting a real good burn on those lats. So the next exercise that we have now, kettlebell French curl. It's kind of a French curl slash hammer curl in a way from the way that we're holding the kettlebell like so. Traditional French curl would be palm down. One, two, so on and so forth. But I like to do a little bit more deliberately. Get my back straight, my shoulders straight, really digging into my heels. Then just bringing it up. French curls. 30 seconds, let's go. Now these French curls are gonna give you a real good pump on the top of the forearm and give you a thicker bicep with a simple bicep curl, right? Whenever you come this way, you see how the bicep is thick, but turn, see how that works? Let me try it this way. You got the curl, and then there's your peak. Thickness, peak. Keep that in mind. French curls are gonna help with that thickness. Don't worry, get that peak on the next exercise. Let's go, 30 seconds. Now this is only 15 pounds per hand, but after you do 30 seconds, you're gonna, you're gonna swear that 15 pounds per hand feels like the full 30. This next exercise is going to be resistance band preacher curls. Well, how the hell do you expect to do resistance band preacher curls on pull-up bars? Huh, glad you asked. You got the pull-up bar down here, Let's link it up. Oh, smash like if you get it now. Knuckles out like you're holding a can of soup. That's what I want you to focus on here. We're not curling like this here. No. Here, no. This. Knuckles out. Straight line distance. That's really going to hammer the peak of the bicep. All right, taller biceps. Let's get it. 30 seconds. Each arm. Woo, we're going to feel that burn now, baby. Oh my lord. This pump is about to be insane. Make sure you got that protein shake ready afterwards. 15 seconds per arm is fine. Remember, three rounds. So, here we go. Remember, knuckles out. Knuckles out. These are good. Preacher curls are really great for isolating that bicep, especially the peak with taking shoulder movement out of the equation so you could really concentrate on it. Get that nice contraction, hold it for, it's like a simple count, which is great. Let's go. Quality reps. Y'all gonna get me on the whole set here. Whoo. <sighs> Call it a super set, because we're gonna take the same resistance band, the low cable curl, right? You wanna hold these out a little bit in front of you. Remember what I'm saying, thumbs up. It's like so, and you can rest your feet, it doesn't matter how, like whatever's comfortable. I like to relax everything but my biceps and get the low cable curl. Low cable curl, that's right. We don't need a gym for this. I mean, even my chiropractor told me, you get strong as fuck with the resistance bands, right? I'm already out of muscle failure. Look at that 30 seconds. And this superset is just gonna force that blood into your biceps. It's gonna feel them get huge. Get freaking jacked. Unrecognizable this time next year. Let's get it. Whoo! Well guys, don't forget, three rounds and your last round is going to be as many reps as possible. I want y'all to train that third set to failure. But anyways, guys, if you appreciate this type of content and you find any sort of value in it, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell and smashing the like. Just tickle the algorithm. Like I said, 28 subscribers kind of sucks and I'm putting out like a world of information that a lot of people probably want to know. So anyways, I think this video is long enough and I'm going to call it good. I'll see you back tomorrow for week one, leg day two. It's going to suck. It's supposed to. Love you guys. Bye.